Praise, Praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. So my husband had a dream this morning, and today is April the 14th. 14th, yeah. 2020. And uh, this video is very, very much needed. Very much needed. And I'm so glad the Lord revealed some things. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and let my husband get started. Yeah, because the Bible says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things which you know not. Mm -hmm. And the way he took Ezekiel into the, 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 the author to show Ezekiel. That was exactly what God did in this dream. Okay. So I'm going to start reading this dream. Then after I, fin uh, I finish that, my wife is going to read the scripture that when I get to work this morning, I begin to read that scripture. And that's what God was saying. Much confirmation from this dream. All right. So, uh, Church of God in Christ dream. In the dream, God took me inside this church. And the Spirit of God ministered to me where I am. So, God took me into this place. And the, the Spirit of God ministered to, to me where I am, Church of God in Christ. And as I was listening to the pastor preaching, he began to tell everyone that God's mercy will always cover them when they are in sin or not. Then I was calm and he started telling the whole church that it's okay to sin. He was telling the whole church that it's very okay to sin. It's okay to do whatsoever that you want as a sin. God is very okay with it. So I was upset. Then that's when I begin to be very upset. And, you know, I was so upset with the teaching. And I begin to rebuke him in front of everyone. So I started rebuking this man of God. In, in front of everyone and I told the whole church no sin will no sin will go unpunished there is no sin that will ever go unpunished so sin sinner will go to hell fire so this is what I was saying in the dream you know I was just constantly saying all this I was so mad like, why will a pastor be telling the whole congregation all this? Mm -hmm. And it, it, this is not coincidence. So when I told my wife about this dream, so she began to make the thumbnail. And my husband don't know much about um, Church of God in Christ. Um, as, as, as an American, I do. I, I wasn't raised in that church, but everyone knows about uh, Kojic in America. And I do know that he is the... Uh, is it was it a providing bishop? Uh, he's the 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 leader of the um, the church for right now. So that's what made me put his picture up. So I was like, mm -hmm. well, I was if I if we can show you all the message I was typing, I was like, yeah. well, wow, I yeah, was, he was shocked because that was the person that I saw that was saying that I was so really upset. Mm -hmm. So even I was saying all that that every sinner. Every sinner will go to hellfire. Then I begin to walk out from that church, you know, and I woke up from that dream. So I want my wife to go ahead and read this scripture, Hebrews chapter 2, 1 to 4. Hebrews chapter 2, 1 to 4. We must pay the most careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For since the message spoken through angels are was binding, and every violation and disobedience received its just punishment, how shall we escape if we ignore so great a salvation? This salvation, which was first announced by the Lord, was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. 
So that's the scripture that I, ha- like I received this morning. And I was like, wow, God does not lie. He Amen. will never lie. So then uh, two years ago, yes, two years ago, I received the word concerning this Kojic uh, yes. uh, preachers. Yes, you oh, sure did. Yes, I did. Yes, and uh, that was two years ago, and uh, I was I was letting my husband know it's not the time to say it yet. Um, I so I feel like this is the best time. Yes. To reveal what the Lord showed my husband two years ago, and we have been telling friends and loved ones that are around us, but we never made a video about it. Yeah. But I want my husband to share that. Yes, God spoke to me two years ago that 90% of the preachers in Kojic are homosexuality. Yes. I don't think you heard what I just said. 90% of preachers in Kojic are homosexuality. And I I was like, wow. Yeah, that is shocking. I was like, wow. Yeah. Then as I was... Uh, coming home today, God begin to speak more. Let them hit to this warning. Let them hit to this warning. Because the second pledge, what's it called? Uh, 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 disease. Yes, uh, second disease. Yeah. How do they call it in the Bible? Uh, 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 plague. Oh, uh, plague. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the second one that is coming is going to be brutal. Wow. It's going to be brutal. And he will not spare. Mm-hmm. Only... Only if he will see genuine repentance, genuine repentance, genuine repentance. Thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, so he to the warning. Um, uh, the one who was the head of the of this um, church need to get it together. So it will trickle down to everyone yeah. that is following him. <laughs> All right. And uh, I would like to say more about this. You can sin and God is okay with it. Let's just, I noticed that, um, that people do not want to hear the truth about sin. Because if someone teach against sin, they feelings get hurt. Yeah. And your feelings is, is your feelings will get hurt. Um, when you read the Bible, yeah. it will tell you straight truth. Okay. When a true minister of God preaches the true word of God, it will sometimes hurt your feelings. Definitely. Yes. Truth hurts. Yeah. Truth really hurts. But one thing I can say is that when Monique lived in sin, I was the best sinner. And I knew I was in sin. I didn't make no excuses. I was raised in church. Yeah. My parents uh, taught me the true word of God. When I knew I was in sin, I didn't make any excuses. Yeah. I knew um, the things I were, what I were doing was not pleasing to God. Yeah. And I knew if I would have died, where I was going to end up at. Yeah. I didn't make no excuses for myself. And that's the thing that we need to say. Hey, I'm in sin. I know I'm in sin. Yep. I respect people who say, look, I've been sinning. Right. But those people who are um, defending their sin. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's not good. You're not living an honest life. That's where deliverance start. If yeah. you realize, hey, I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? But that's one thing. When I lived a sinful life, I lived it. And I lived it good, too. But when I gave myself to Christ Jesus, totally. I totally gave myself to Christ Jesus. W- what's the point? What's in the point? plan. When God knows the truth, he sees everything. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. God, uh, uh, these people who call themselves leaders and ministers uh, uh, of the word of God just really feel like God is not watching everything they do. God has patience. That's the thing. He has patience. And uh, y'all taking advantage of his love and patience. Mm-hmm. But uh, it is coming a time where judgment is going to hit the house. And to be honest with you, it is already hitting that house. And I, it is hitting I, other homes. And I heard him say that he, you know, in his, in his, in this church, he ha- they have not seen nothing yet until. Yeah. They have not seen nothing yet. That's true. So the major one is still going to come. 
if they're not going to listen. And I believe it's already a group of them that have passed away. You know, I really don't know which, uh, what type of diseases or why they have passed away, but majority of them already have passed away. So that, that is a warning already. All yeah. right. Thank yeah. you for watching. If you would like, please share this video. I believe it's going to bless somebody. Have All a right. good day. Bye. Bye.